Hello YouTube, this is Dragonheart and welcome to my YouTube channel and welcome to my legendary campaign of Sparta. This is Total War Steam Achievement Attempt and in the last episode we unfortunately lost our battle in Athens over here and this is the army which is, which is left I should say. So what we'll do now this turn, On the move. we shall... Oh, faction, what's this? Requires attention. Lysandros, one of your magistrates is complaining about the deteriorating quality of wine in his province. He claims even barbarians would refuse to drink it. Um, quality? I will do that. Don't know what that does, but we'll do that anyway. <laughs> um, first things first, diplomacy. So we are at war with everyone that is available to me at the moment. So that's good news for me. Or bad news, depending on your point of view. <laughs> Um, we need to recruit more command. units here. What have we got? We got some Perioikoi spears. Why Spartan? Perioikoi hopites. I should probably check my province first of all. Click here to repair the building. So get that built as quickly as possible. Need to take Athens as quickly as possible as well. Can I recruit a navy? I could, but I can't at the moment. Why is that? Strange. Oh, I got too many. I haven't got any fleets, that's strange. Is it because I'm going to port? It might be because I'm going to port. In that case, I'll have to take Athens by land and then. Commander. Um, Are you ready to serve? Do what we can. Javelmen are supposed to be pretty good in patch 7, so I'll get you into them as well. Sparta does bring 8 units um, of its own the table so if Athens does decide to attack me we should be okay and to be honest I'm still quite gutted from that last episode we I fought against Athens I thought that I could take Athens I had a much weaker force um, than Athens certainly um, by a troop number unfortunately just to check bones again now we're okay Unfortunate. I like the fact that Egypt are neutral even though I declared war on them. It's quite funny. Wouldn't think that, would you? Um, unfortunately, we lost that we battle, battle. And I am quite gutted by it, to be honest. Skirmisher camp. Oh. Um, go with military settlement for now. Ready for I'm going to probably take a few turns in this episode to um, just try to concentrate on recruiting some units. Good I'm going to get loads of perioikoi spearmen, and a couple of javelin units as well. It'll take me a few turns. going to use up as much money as I can. Orders. Take a full stack, maybe even a stack and a few other troops as well. That should be enough to take Athens. That's got to be my first port of call. Wipe out Athens and then focus on Epirus and Macedon in the north. We'll end turn again. We go through this very quick end turn phase. Shouldn't last too long. I hope. And it's been a very good campaign so far. I'm really enjoying playing on Legendary. I don't usually um, play on that difficulty. I guess you could call, call me a bit of a wimp. <laughs> but I've always played on hard or very hard, so it is interesting to play. More challenging, and to be honest, I am enjoying it a little bit more. I do prefer that, um, that challenge. Ooh, we've got some new units we can recruit now because of the finished building. So, what have we got? We got Perioikai Peltast. I heard that Peltast are very, very lethal in this game. What's the difference between them and Helid Archers? Archers missile damage is better. Range isn't quite as good. Got better shots per minute. Uh, we go with a couple of. Well, we'll get three Peltasts, I think. And we we'll get another unit of Javelin. Just going to skirmish them to death, basically. That is the plan. End turn again. I think now we'll check diplomacy once more. See if we discard any more nations this turn. Have we? Oh, what's happened to it? Let's uh, get off this. Let's go back to diplomacy. I hope we haven't discovered any more known factions. I was a bit scared then because Rome, as you can see, is in Apollonia. Taking that pretty quick, actually. 
200 men before surrender. They're under siege by Epirus by the looks of things. So I was worried that perhaps they w would appear, but because we haven't discovered them yet, we don't actually... Um, we can't actually declare war on them, so it's supposed to be the turn you meet them for this uh, achievement. That's fine. I do look quite like the look of these archers, mind. Get another unit of archers. And um, we gotta go with some more uh, more leak units now. So Perioikoi pikemen. Get some slingers. <laughs> got a nice variety of anyway of troops. We've got nine units in this army, and we have Commander. sixteen in this one. Once they all uh, finish, I can also bring in some mercenaries, which I probably will before I try to take Athens again. So let's quickly go through this now. Another end turn phase. One of the best parts about the early game in Rome 2 was the end turns go much quicker. Ah, hidden agent exposed. No problem. Sabotage. Research complete. Wings of Pegasus. Okay, we can go off that. We can go back to this technology tree. Um, should we do some civil stuff? I think we... Yeah, with some more wealth. We need wealth, so we'll, we'll do some civil stuff. Ready for battle. And I'm going Ready to try to move this. Minus 16, how's that? Wow. Characters. Oh, it's because of my unit, is it? Your command. Oh, it's because of their you spy they got a spy, gee. Nasty, nasty, nasty. Right, we can go to a skirmishes camp but not yet. This army Commander. I think oh, we won't build them. What we will do though is hire some mercs. So we have money to do this. I need uh, what's the best veteran hoplites probably is my best bet. Now I can get two of them this turn, and I got some slingers. Well, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So we've got seven altogether uh, skirmishing troops. So another hoplite there, mercenary hoplite there. That's all we can guess. We got a near full stack. What we will do? We will march on Athens yet again with this army. They got a lot of reinforcements coming in as well. So we'll encircle them. None will escape. Turn the siege, I should say. This army Come of on. nine units can also march forward. I'm hoping they can Ready reinforce. Our path is blocked. Can I actually get around there in this turn? No. I don't mind them starting off there though, because that does give me another way uh, in to the city. I think I'll try and fight the Baal in this episode. The odds are actually in my favour now. We'll fight this one. Assault. Battle of Athenae. 263 BC. Looking at this uh, this uh, battle map here on the screen, in the loading screen, I probably should have my other army coming in from the other side. I would have thought. So we'll see what happens now. Might be the case, might not be the case. I'd love to get this first victory though on Legendary. I was so close last time in Athens, come down to the very last unit and... Oh, it's just so disappointing when that happens. But that's that's one of the things I love with with Total War games sometimes. They can bring out these epic battles and they can actually, you know, where it goes down to like the last man or the last unit, you do, act, you do come across them, especially on the older games like Rome and Medieval, Rome 1 and Medieval 2. But anyway, going back to the point that matter here, which is the campaign, and we can go into Athens through the main gate here. Did I tag this gate last time? I think I came from the other side last time. We'll try this gate this time, so we have my Perioikoi spears, which I will group up. We shall put them... I'm trying to take this wall here, I think, so put them up there. Loads and loads of missile troops. Probably a, a bit of a disadvantage to me, really. Just group them all up, start the battle straight away. First thing I'm going to do is take these damn ones. What's over here? <laughs> Dear. Destroying the fences. <laughs> That's one thing I don't like with the game, i got to be honest. Dears would never do that in real life. And I think that's fully represented in the game. It could have been... I mean, I understand why they've done it and, you know, all that crap, but to be honest with you, it could have been better implemented. 
like a lot of things in this game. But I'm not going to hate on the game too much. It is a good game at the end of the day. Especially now. I'm going to get my slingers to fire on these units here, I think, to help reinforce. Uh, I do have... Like, of course, you can't see the battle map, can you, on Legendary Difficulty? So I've got to now look for my own troops. <laughs> my reinforcements, where are they? Matter of fact, I can't even go in the city, can I? It won't let me go in the city. Where are my reinforcements? Well, this is one thing which I don't like at the moment. Where are my reinforcements coming from? Ah, they're there. <laughs> they're behind me. Damn, scared me to death. They can stay there for now. I'm not going to use them yet. I'm going to just leave them there, chill out for a bit. I got a bit scared. I thought they'd come the other side of the building like like was displayed on the campaign map. And unfortunately, they decided to come behind me. So, rather a strange decision, but there we go. It happens. Now, we're going to use these ladders to get up there. My hoplites here, Periarchi Spears and two mercenary hoplites, will try to burn the gate down. I can perhaps sally forth, get through the gate, try and take the capture point over there. Um, where are the Athenian um, reinforcements? Are they, do they start off in the city or will they be elsewhere? Not 100% sure at the moment, to be honest. But oh well. Let's get these men up on the walls and let's get them. Let's get them up on these damn walls. Let's get them to fire on on these uh, slingers. These units can start bringing the walls down. And we do actually have lots of men inside. They are hoplites and militia hoplites, plus their general, who's uh, got Lancer cavalry. So that's going to be a bit tricky to get through. But fortunately, I th we got spears and hoplites there as it is. These units are almost up on the walls get them forming up as quickly as possible on this wall. They can descend down, capture this gatehouse or tower and they can flank around then. By the time they get down here I should be through the gate and I should be able to take the first part of this, most of this army out I should think. But of course they do outnumber me in this battle. They have a lot of reinforcements somewhere. I don't know where at the moment. That's the one thing I, one of the things I do like about this game is the line of sight feature. And that is that Oh, look at this, we're doing pretty well now. Right, my slingers can actually come to here now. They've done their job, we've taken the tower. Or we are taking the tower, I should say. Sparta! Sparta! We can charge these slingers now. Get on as quickly as possible. And now would be a good opportunity to bring the rest of my force up. My force up, so... What have we got here? we got a nice line of troops. Well, some of them are up there. These four can now march up as well to reinforce. We have my second army, which is all over here. I'm going to group them all up into one kind of formation and bring them all up behind. Just so I know where they are, because I do get a bit lost sometimes. All these different units and stuff. And what have we got here? Mob. <laughs> well, I'm not worried about them. It does appear they have another unit of lancers over in the distance. So we have to be aware of them. Now these units of Hoplites. Oh, the gatehouse is still firing upon me, of course. Do as much fire damage as we can. Right, these... These two units are taking forever, so we're going to get them to actually drop these siege equipments because they're taking forever. I'm going to bring them up. They can come through the gate. These two units, however, can come down through this doorway down here from the arrow tower. We've taken the tower, we can come down and actually start flanking around. Perhaps take out one or two of their units but they the gate is slowly coming down, taking lots of fire damage. We'll soon be through there. Uh, my archers. I could probably start getting them to fire now from their position. Start. We'll do phalanx and go through the door once we can, but the advantage I do have is what's currently happening. Are they going to charge me from there? It doesn't look like it. In that case, charge this unit. Charge with both these military units now. We've got the archer tower that's uh, attacking as well, which should help us out. This gatehouse shall be taken shortly. 94, 95. It's going up slowly. That'll be taken down soon. And we can then march straight through the gatehouse and try to take 
uh, Athens, the city of Athens, and wipe out this once glorious faction. So that is our plan, and hopefully we can implement it. Get both these units to attack on the citizen hoplites and militia hoplites. Um, my lines are slowly marching up, I don't mind that. Archers are doing damage. Let's go through these individually a second. Oh, some flaming shots. Something different. Get a flaming shot on some of these units as well. Let's vary our attack. Right, we're through the gate now. I'm gonna go. Oh, what are you doing? I'm gonna go with the spear infantry first, with Hoplite in support. Oh, look at the arrows flying through there now. I thought this one through. Look at this. Not do much damage though. I would think you'd have some kind of effect on their morale though. Yeah, here we go. It's gonna have effect on morale, I would think. Form phalanx. I'm gonna continue to let them fire. Actually, they can fire on the ones behind. Attack the lancers. Are they gonna really charge their lancers through? No, they're not. Well done, AI. Smart move. I'm not gonna attack them yet. I'm gonna let them. Um, continue to take some arrow fire. Oh, there we go. The arrows are now actually starting to fly over now and hit the cavalry, which is what I want. And now, I think I can charge in with my periochoi spears. Hoplites can sight going now as well. Archers oh, doing well. It's this um, situation now where I go outside to bring these units up as well, to go through the gateway. But I'm, I'm not going to commit all my men. I'm going to use this as a choke point. Probably what the AI is going to do to me as well, use it as a choke point. How are we doing over here? Use advanced speed. 75, 44, 64 and 65. We've got the edge. Should be able to break them. I may actually take them then down here, because I know they've got mob units down here, which will be easy to mob up. And I can then perhaps swing them around. What's happening here? I've lost some spear units, that's fine. Put these in the phalanx. And get plenty of shots in. Loads and loads and loads of death, which is what we want to see. And Athens are going to bring the militia out. By the looks of things, no, they're not. They're staying there. <laughs> Time to charge with the next unit. Second one in reserve. And this is how I'm going to play it, basically. Bring up units one by one. No point in overcommitting. This is legendary difficulty after all, which uh, we don't want to overcompensate. We'd be spread too thinly. Let's bring these uh, missile units forward. Actually, no, they're out of. We better come back. I just realised that uh, these units are actually out of ammo now. Only got the one unit left of archers. They can do the fire. I do have these uh, javelin men though, which I can bring up and group up. Just bring them up about there. Now would be a good time to march in. Hoplites in the choke point. Oh, we're actually losing over here. That's not good. How are they losing? Ready for orders. We're against. Oh, did they bring another unit up? 107, 60, 36. I didn't. A hmm. bit disappointed with that. Uh, we can <laughs> bring the Royal Spartans up. I could. He's my general, isn't he? No, he's not. I do have a couple of units of Royal Spartans. I'm going to bring up this unit actually though. As you I can come down the wall again with another, a fresh unit, full unit of Spartan Hoplites. That should be enough to, to take out that flank. I should have probably had three units there anyway rather than just the two. Just in phalanx. phalanx if they can. They're going to just charge straight through into this big mosh pit, which is the gateway. I'll zoom out now. Actually, we'll start using. Oh, we can actually use the tactical map in realism mode, can we? 
was going to say, I was going to go into the tactical map and actually look at the battlefield, but we can't do that. Something I don't do much of anyway, but I thought it would be nice to have a look. You don't really need to see the tactical map, it's pretty obvious what's happening at the moment. We're this side of the wall, we want to get that side, simple as that. <laughs> um, I find this a lot with sieges in this game at the moment. I find that. Um, Can we hit any of these? Mob units at the back. Go for their lancers with my javelin now. They should get over the wall. What I was going to say was that um, I don't use the battle. Uh, what do they call it? Tactical map. I don't use it an awful lot. So it doesn't really matter if I use it or not. Hold up well. 73. Yes, Commander. Oh no, what's happening? Down at 29 and starting to waver. And they are, we're actually losing the wall because of these javelin men. Let's see what's happening now. Where's our unit gone? I was what, going to the wall. It's this unit, isn't it? Why are they going to go through? I want them up on the wall. Go the laddie fools. Oh, I hit the, uh, the... This happened in the last battle of Frathens. It's happening again, look. This Spartan hopped at a unit. I got two ladders up here ready. And for some reason, he seems to be trying to go through the door. But I want him to go on the wall because that's where the danger is. And that's where I can outflank the enemy. Ah, such a game breaker. Irritating. Oh, come on, we should be able to march through these. They got javelin units for God's sake. We've lost our unit in the flank now, we've lost this uh, tower. <sighs> Frustrating. Anyway, let's get back to the game. Alright, this unit's going to do it now, by the looks of things. It looks like it. And these units are going to do it as well. They're going to grab this uh, siege tower anyway. We should get up here. Is it going to be right on the wall? Seem to have more of a gap. I don't know. I don't know how the battle's going because there's no uh, yellow and red bar at the bottom like you would get on usual on the other difficulties. So I'm not 100% sure. Are we going to take this gatehouse or what? With those, uh, of course we can't see down there now. Can we? Because no units there. And what's that over here? <laughs> A unit of javelin men. Which are all spread out for some reason. Do I have any cavalry? I don't think I do. Oh, that's a shame. Are you into cavalry? I'd map, map them up in minutes. Um, anyway, back to the battle and nothing's changed. <laughs> we just got loads of men in the gateway and we are trying our best to take out what we can with our javelin men from behind the wall, which isn't an easy task for them. It looks like we are injuring the javelin here as well. I think it's because they, they're on fire at will, so they just do what they please. What's happening over here? It seems to be getting fire damage. Get up that wall, come on. And this unit as well. Get up that damn wall. This is one of the things I do not like, is trying to baby babysit your units to get them to go where you want them to go. Bring this pop the tail unit up ready. And... Some perioikoi. Spears as well. And it's just a big boring slugfest in the wall at the moment. There's loads and loads of death. I've actually got my my pelt ass in there, but they can't do anything because they're right behind this mosh pit of enemy troops. The good news is, however, we are taking this wall. This javelin unit's the wrong side of the wall. Maybe I can take them out with this unit. We'll try our best. Might be wise for me to actually use this wall and go over the top and down with more units, so we'll take some other units with us, I think. 
I made the mistake last time to left myself to be too vulnerable. Where's this unit going now? They're going over there. Yes, they are. They, go, they are going over there. Um, nothing's happened at the ball really, apart from what's happening before. Jammed my Peltasts and my veteran Hoplites, my best unit, I think, or one of my best units in this in this uh, army of mine. Can't really do anything apart from what I've done there. And there we go, the javelins getting over the wall. We are getting death on their javelinmen. Dump 36. And let's see what else we got here. We got. I need to try and flank around now. The good thing is that they've been weakened a lot, and with three units, I should be able to get through the, the gate easily. Once I get through this part, it should be fine. I should have enough about me to take this city. And let's bring these three units down as quickly as possible. And we're going to actually outflank the enemy now. And start hitting them from this side as well. I, wonder I could probably take the ladder to this side of the ball and start outflanking them here as well. Do I have enough units left? I do have enough units left. Is it worth it? Mm, it could be. What's happening here now? For some reason we're running with the javelin man. <laughs> Why aren't you attacking the javelin man? <laughs> oh my god, this game's even worse on legendary. Come on. Why are they all running past them? There we go. Well done. You, you located the enemy. Oh, he took a nice little javelin to the face there. Fire arrow. Right, these two units. Go for like hoplites. Go for the militia hoplite. These are better units than what we had last time. Let's bring up quicker. Quickly. Bring this unit of Periarchoi, Hoplites. Down, if I can. Pathfinding's playing up again. Uh, this unit is that unit up there. <laughs> okay, Royal Spartans, get them up over the wall as well. My Hoplites. Why? What the earth is happening here? Get back up the wall. Why is it that I have some men up the wall, the others are down by here? And I asked them to go down there, and they decide to come back. Idiots. I haven't even got a unit flag for this unit. That's stupid. Spartans! I need to break through these mob units now. Which would be pretty easy, I, I would think. Sparta! There we go. Charge right in. Take this first unit out. Should be straightforward. Spartans! There we go. Sparta! They've been taken out. More or less. Focus on the second mob unit. Are the enemy doing anything behind me? Doesn't look like it. Are well, they moving around a bit, a lot of things, but nothing for me to worry about. Now we can really get to work on these enemy units. from the side as well. Spear infantry at your command. Try to take out some of their horse units as well. The lancers. Once I do that I'm through the gates and the rest we, we would hope would be easier. I'm finding it a bit strange on hard on legendary difficulty at the moment. Um, it's weird because in some ways it is more challenging and in other ways it's not. I think it's, it's not like a true legendary, which you would, would expect. So as far as the battles go anyway, I think it could be a lot better. Lancers again decimated, slowly but surely. This unit is now up on the wall, well done, you've located the wall. They can now go down there, what's, what's this flag doing? What is happening by here with this unit? Poor units been left from the battlefield. <laughs> they seem to be jammed in the walls. I don't know what's going on with them. The rest of them are down, actually down here doing their job fighting. <laughs> Very strange units. Anyway, going back to battle. Glory! We are getting somewhere now, at least. Spear in ready. Ready. Can't form a hopper table. Does not matter. 
traveling, man. I have no. Oh, I do have one sense. unit of uh, Pelot archers left. I may as well. Aim. May as well attack them. We are actually starting to get through the gate now. We've pushed in, and they all start to waver now. Here we go. Look at them surging through. It's a beautiful sight. Loads of Spartans and Perioikai spears routed the enemies now. All of you get your asses over there. And all of these now get your asses in this building. We're going to take Athens in this battle. I hope. <laughs> not going to say I am, just going to say I hope. Now it looks like they're going to form up around here. And this is going to be the next main part of this battle. They do have cavalry here, they do have hoplites, mob, 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 light hoplites. This should be straightforward then. I should hope, anyway. Right. Oh, what's happening? Right. This unit, where are they going? They're going to form up here. I can attack their hoplites with my perioikai hoplites. They send their light hoplites forward, we're going to just charge them to death with these units here. Advance. Four phalanx. This unit shouldn't last long. They're heavily outnumbered. They're getting swarmed by everyone. I know there's some weak units in there for melee, like javelin men, but it doesn't matter. It's going to have a negative effect on them. By the amount of men that are charging them, they decided to not bring <laughs> reinforcements in, which is rather stupid. Let's bring these units forward as well. Could actually bring some of these units out to counteract the mob. I'm going to bring this unit up. Have a nice little phalanx on phalanx action on this left flank now in the street. Are we breaking this unit now? It should be straightforward. This should. Let's go straight for the lancers. Charge straight in. I have 60 hip Hippias Lancers. And they're confident. I wouldn't be confident. General. Not when you've got this many Spartans chasing you down. Now this unit's glitched out completely. Don't know what's gone wrong with it. Flags by you, the unit. The units are over here, but some of them have stayed over there, so... Uh, I don't know what's happening, to be honest. Oh, we've engaged over here. Didn't notice that. 105 against 120. Oh, God, we were cut out over there. Does not matter though because I can bring these all forward. We are routing them now heavily. Just chase them down. Uh, the capture point over there. Probably could send a unit or two over to the capture point. As a matter of fact, I will do that. Might even discover some more hidden units. I'll just take a couple of these javelin men over because they're not going to be useful in melee really, so bring them over. At least take one capture point there. I'm going to take another unit as well. Bring them all over to this capture point. And the rest are just going to... General! Hit them in the rear. Some of these can go for the mob unit as well. Over there. Don't know where these units are. Oh, they're chasing these ones down over there. Don't want you to do that. Matter of fact, you could probably go into the street over here and try to take this this uh, capture point. I think this might be their last unit or one of their last units. Not 100% certain, but we will find out now. We've been engaged over here. Mob versus spears. Oh, we should win. Even though they outnumber us in the mob. Capture point starting to be taken over here. That's good news. How are we losing out over here? Oh, I sent missiles over as well. Oh, we've still got hoplites and spears though, so. You would hope that we could do some damage. As expected, we're taking that. These units take our second capture point over here, please. Get your asses up there. Take that. 
a little more hop the taser around the corner. I knew they had probably had a hidden unit somewhere. Fortunately, got my hop the taser. They can form phalanx quickly for me. And the second line. I'm actually gonna attempt to flank by here with this other unit. Form phalanx. Capture in the second capture point. We've taken the other capture point over here. We're still fighting this unit. I have some Royal Spartans I can use against them over there. I'll bring Spearman in as well. We are starting to capture the second capture point. And this should be over pretty soon now, you would think. We have 69 left in this one unit, and we they have 94 left in this other unit. And we're starting route, which is not good. Come on, hold in there. The counter is starting to go down now. We've taken two out of three capture points, and you'd think the battle would be over pretty soon. Matter of fact, we can bring this unit up. Oh, and there we are. Victory. Costly victory, but we have taken Athens. 27 minutes battle duration. Whew. That was a long one. It's going to be a long video, this is. <laughs> Didn't expect it to be that long, but siege battles can take a while sometimes. Mainly just waiting at the gate for ages. We can occupy the settlement. Honourable death. Thank you very much, Sparta. I shall take this from you. Imperium's gone up, which is good. Mission successful. Increase in rank. And I thought the game glitched then, but it hasn't. And I'm going to end the episode there. Hope you all enjoyed. I've been Dragonheart. Until next time, goodbye.